Hello, welcome everybody. Uh, here we are for another day of yoga. Um, let's go ahead and start with just seat, get seated and we'll do a little meditation. So just focus on your breath there, taking some long deep breaths. Think of inhaling for about five seconds and then exhaling for five seconds. Allow all your muscles to just let go, really relaxing and letting go. Think of relaxing more with each exhale. Taking two more deep breaths. Okay, so let's go ahead and scoot up here. Today we'll work on a little bit of the shoulder area. Really work those shoulders. Go ahead and roll the shoulders a little bit. If you have, have been having some issues with your shoulders, maybe this stuff will help a little. Good, now let's go ahead and curve the spine and do the shoulders. So I'm curving here. Notice my palms face back and then forward. Good, and then just roll the shoulders back. Just the shoulders. We'll even do a little shoulder massage at the end. Good, in and out with the arms. Take your arm across and rotate with it. And other side. And then push out, pull the fingers down. Open the chest, take a couple deep breaths. Okay, then we'll face this direction here. One leg back and reach up. Kind of look up a little bit at the ceiling, taking some deep breaths there. And relax. Good. Let's go ahead and come back to center. Inner thigh stretches next. So nice and wide with the legs, leaning forward. Try putting one shoulder in. A little stretch on the shoulder as well as the inner thigh. And other side.
Excellent. Let's go ahead and face this direction. Put the blade back as much as you can and reaching up. And relax back to center. Excellent. Take a deep breath in, reach up. And exhale, pull your knee into your chest. Inhale, reach up. And other side. Inhale, reach up. This time we go to airplane pose. So you hinge at the hips, palms facing down, lift the chest, and just take a couple deep breaths. Pull those shoulders back and down. And relax. Then we're going to make like a field goal post. So work your shoulder rotator cuffs coming down and up. Exhale back. Inhale down. See how far you can go back there, too. About three more. Good, and then stretch it out just by going across. And other side. And next we have a pigeon pose. You can cross uh, low or high. I'm gonna lean forward at the hips, keep the back nice and straight. And let your back go. Stretching your back and kind of reaching forward a little. And then we'll switch sides. Start with the back nice and straight, leaning forward. And then go ahead and relax the back, walking those arms forward more. Just take your time, relax and enjoy your breath. Okay, let's go ahead and stand up here. So if you have a wall, um, which with my green screen kind of took out my walls, uh, but imagine there's a wall here behind me. What you want to do if you have a wall, you can go ahead and get up against the wall. You want to put your arms up against that wall, and then you try to keep them up against the wall as you reach up and down. Up and down, trying to see if you 
and keep those arms back the whole time. A lot of times when we go up, it's hard to keep those hands back. It's a great little shoulder exercise. Keep working it. Up two more. And relax. The other one is the spider crawl. Let me see if I can give you a little bit of a wall sort of thing here. I think I can. But what you're going to do is imagine this wall right in front of me now. I'm just going to walk like a spider up the wall and then come back down. You walk it up, get up there and then bring it back down. doesn't matter if you don't have a wall, but it is nicer. I got a little wall here. It is nicer to walk it up. If you want to get right up against that wall. Try the other side. So it's just a spider walk up the wall. Really stretching that shoulder out. One more imaginary wall there. Good. And then we're going to stretch it out, downward dog. Both feet back. Good. Let go with one arm. Kind of lean back even more, stretching that shoulder. And other side, find the spot and then lean back just a little more. Try to stay square to the chair. Excellent. So let's go through some warrior poses next. And so we'll start with warrior one. Step out with one leg there, lean into it. Make sure your body is upright. You're gonna gaze past this way, reaching up and looking up at the ceiling. Take some long, deep breaths. Good, go to warrior two. Same stance position, just changing the arms square, square yourself off to the front and then look past your hands there. Take a couple deep breaths. And relax. Good. Just kind of shake your arms out. We're going to do the other side now. Warrior one. Step out. Reach up with both hands. One more breath. And warrior two. You can feel those shoulders a little bit after working them. Let's hold for two more breaths. And relax. Good. Feet together. 
We're gonna go side to side, try to reach toward your knee. And reach up and over. Take the hips to the side. Couple deep breaths. And other side. And relax. Next is cat and cow. So I'm going to use the back of the chair. And what we'll do is we will start with cow, lift the chest. Open up. Could be called the cobra too, either way. Cobra is a little more leaning your hips in. You can do that too if you want, but don't hurt the back. Hold the position for two deep breaths. Good, and then curve the back like a cat. Good, and then inhale, go to cow. Exhale the cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale the cat. Bend the knees here a little and fold it. Excellent. So let's go ahead and do a reverse warrior pose next. So the right foot is out, not too deep with the stance. Reach up with the hand there and look at the hand as you reach up and over the head, taking some deep breaths in the belly. You also reach down with the other hand. Excellent. And then we'll go ahead and switch sides. Reach up. And relax. Next one's a twist here. So I'm going to be behind the chair, but I'm going to be facing kind of to the side of it. So almost like this. And what we're going to do is grab the chair, twist yourself back. Keep pushing and pulling. Don't hurt yourself though. And other side. So face this way, grab, twist. Good. And then we're going to do a little side split or splits there. And you don't want to be too deep, but go, go down a little ways. And then what we'll do is go one side, kind of sit back with it, just kind of stretching that out there. And other side. Excellent. Next is the pyramid pose. So that one, you're going to step out with the right foot. Other foot's pointed forward and lean down, reach up, look back behind your hand or at your hand. Good. 
Taking some nice deep breaths. Good, then we'll do the other side. So point the toe out, bring that one forward, reach down and back. And relax. Good. Just kind of shake it out. The bed shakes differently. See what you do. There we go. Good. I haven't done this one in a little while. Give yourself a little clap. Enjoy it. What you're going to do is just give yourself a little slaps all over your body. You know, I haven't done this forever. Uh, warms up the body a little bit, wakes up those muscles. If you think about it, you kind of do this naturally. Like when you wake up and you're like, dang, I need to wake up. I don't know why, but it kind of works. It gets those blood flowing. You can do it wherever, all over the body. Wake it up. Give it another 20 seconds or so. different but it is kind of invigorating all right good let's do some uh twisting as well turn the toes in let the arms go just move your body just don't hit the chair look in the direction you're going All right, I can't remember if we did the uh, triangle on the other side. I don't think we did, but if we did, we'll get a double double in. So step out, reach down, reach up. Looking back behind you. One more breath. And relax. You know, go back to downward dog. Remember, you can always go to the ground or floor if you prefer. You know, you can you can go deeper with this. It look like this. That's just if you're you're ready for it. You don't always want to take your heart below your head or your head below your heart. Uh, if you have blood pressure issues or something like that. That's why we, we do it this way typically most of the time. Don't want to have like a heart issue or something. All right, let's go ahead and have a seat. Though I did do my CPR online, so I should be able to give CPR online now if something happens. This gig. All right, so go ahead and. Uh, have a seat. And we're going to do a little bit of stretching here. Um, let's raise one leg up first, actually, and do some, a little balance work, like a tree pose, seated tree pose. And relax, other side. Excellent. And then put one leg, you might step off to the side a little bit. We're gonna put one leg back with the shoelaces down. And then you lean back to the back of the chair. If you wanna get more out of it, you just Scoot yourself forward more, and then you'll lean back further. 
I mean, you're stretching the quadricep here. Now, if you're capable of grabbing the leg and stretching it, then go ahead and do that. But a lot of you probably have to do it like this. And just relax for another deep breath here. All right, other side. Put the leg back, lean back. You wanna have a slight bend in it. You don't wanna have it straight. You wanna have it kind of bent. Take a deep breath. And relax. Good, back to center. Uh, let's go ahead and do an inner thigh stretch. So your feet are wide, toes turned out. Lean into it. Good. Now go ahead and lean into that. What you're going to do is make circles with your arms. I'll try to show you more from the side here. Circles with your arms. Let the arms circle and kind of, you don't really control them so much. Just let them circle on their own. Let them be heavy. Circle the other way. And then we're going to take a deep breath in. Right hand is on the top, cross the right leg over, and then we go into seated eagle. Right hand up, left hand comes around. Do what you can though, if it's just here, that's okay. Lift the chest, lift the elbows. and relax. Deep breath in, other arm is on top, left arm. Put the left leg over and come underneath as you go around. And relax. Excellent. Let's go ahead and put one leg out. Take a deep breath in. Stretch the back of that leg there. Rotate your ankle. Other direction. Point and flex. And the leg out. Deep breath in. Keep the back nice and straight when you stretch like this. Excellent, rotate that ankle. Other direction. Point and flex. And back to center. All right, let's stretch the neck a little bit, grab on, lean to the side, and kind of roll it down. 
to the front and then back to the shoulder. Other side, roll it down. All right, look at the side, pull the head back to, and other side. And last, we're just going to push the elbow back. And another side. You can use the back of the chair for leverage. Get right up against it. Push back. Stretch out even more. All right, let's finish with some nice deep breathing. Uh, we're gonna do uh, three cycle breathing today. Uh, we've been doing, we usually do like a two cycle breathing where you inhale for five seconds and then exhale for five seconds. Uh, today, the cycle is gonna be inhale for four seconds, hold the breath for four seconds, and then exhale for four seconds. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Inhale, hold, and exhale. Do it kind of at your own pace now, holding as long as you like. Don't hold for too long. Three cycle breathing. Inhale four seconds, hold four seconds, exhale four seconds. Should be nice and relaxing. Couple more deep breaths. Good, and then just nice, easy breathing. Nice and normal. Take some nice, easy breaths. Taking two more deep breaths here. Good, open your eyes, coming to heart center. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Hopefully that'll help out your shoulders a little bit. Oh, uh, we need to do the massage, huh? Let's go ahead and do that. I promised a massage at the beginning, so just a light massage. Use your right hand, just kind of work your shoulder a little bit. You know, massage is pretty natural too, just like this thing. Uh, when we have a sore muscle and stuff, we kind of naturally grab it and knead it around a little bit. That's all we're gonna do today is just kind of work it and do some circles. You can work the thumbs in the front. Let's do that one arm for another 30 seconds. But 
Well, a massage can always be good. Get right in there where that neck attaches to the shoulder. You can feel that muscle it runs right down there. All right, let's try the other side. You might just start with compression, just kind of grabbing. Work the thumb in the front. Start working those fingers in there. I kind of go down the arm a little bit. Sometimes that affects it too, something down in here can work itself right up into there. And then that muscle again, we'll go back and forth on it a little. All right, now shake it out. Excellent job. You can always keep going with that.